Hi, I'm Zoe Weiner. I'm the beauty and fitness editor at Well and Good, and I am here to tell you a little bit about my Mental Health Monday, which is my way to take care of myself and start the week off feeling as best as I possibly can. I feel like for me, the way that I start the week really sets the tone for everything to come. Um, I think Monday mornings can be really stressful. I'm someone who gets really bad Sunday scaries, so kind of like to start my week in a way that doesn't let that trickle into everything that I do. I don't have a ton of time during the week to really focus on myself. Work is always really busy. Everything is always really nuts in New York City running around and there's a two hour, three hour period every Monday morning between when I wake up and when I walk into the office that it's just for me and it's to get my brain in the right place to be able to do what I need to do throughout the week. So I like to start every day working out, I have to. It's the way that I keep my anxiety at bay. It really helps me focus when I get into the office. I feel like I have to sort of center and set myself physically and mentally doing some sort of activity uh, that I can walk out of feeling really strong. So today's activity was an SLT private Pilates class and I love that because it really works my body in a lot of ways that I never really thought that it could before. I was never an athlete. I was never someone who was all that good at sports or working out, um, so everything that I do now I've kind of had to build on. And SLT, the first time I ever walked into, I collapsed like more times than I was actually doing the workout. Um, so now it's been really cool to see my body sort of progress and move forward and get stronger. And every time I go to those classes and I'm able to hold myself up and hold more planks and do more lunges and move more slowly and build muscle, it lets me walk out feeling accomplished, which you know, on a Monday morning is a great way to start the week already feeling that sense of accomplishment and then carrying that into everything else that I do. Uh, this morning, my abs were on absolute fire. I felt like I could barely hold any of the playing positions that I had to go into, the oblique crunches, which they call the bear at SLT, which feels like a cute name, but it's not that cute of an exercise because it hurts really badly and is really hard. But every time when I finish a move and I'm able to hold it for longer than I expect and not completely collapse the way that I did when I first started doing these types of Pilates workouts, it feels really good for my body and my mind. Every morning, whether it's Monday, Tuesday, whatever, any day of the week, I always have to do a really quick turnaround between my workout and the next phase of my day, whether that's going to therapy, going to an event, coming straight into the office. So I would say pretty much every day I'm getting ready in some sort of a gym or studio bathroom. So I've really got my quick change routine down to an art. Um, I work out always with my hair in a French braid, so that way I can pull it out and I have these really effortless easy sort of beach waves, um, no heat required, nothing. I don't wash my hair after I work out, which is a little gross, but it's fine, it looks fine. And in order to keep them, you know, looking not sweaty, I use this Playa Mist, which is a sugar mist that's kind of, it's not quite like a salt spray, but it'll help keep the waves in place um, and also make my hair smell better than it would without it. I wash my face and do all my serums before I actually get to the gym. So that way when I finish, it's just kind of, Building on top of that, I wipe off the sweat and then I add a glow serum that's kind of like a little bit of a self tanner. It gives me an inside out glow throughout the day that builds on itself. I don't really like to wear foundation, so I like to give my skin its own little natural glow without having to pile on makeup on top of it. And then comes a Drunk Elephant moisturizer, which I mix with these dew drops that are um, anti-pollution. So this is protecting my skin, keeping it hydrated, and then also giving it, again, a little bit of a glow. This is a bronze serum, uh, so it gives me you know, a no foundation sort of foundation look. Next, most importantly, comes sunscreen. I really like this Super Goop primer um, because it goes on with a little bit of a tint. So it smooths out my pores. It, again, gives me a little bit of a more seamless skin smoothing effect without having to wear foundation and also protects me from the sun, which can't really ask for more. As far as makeup goes, I like to keep it super, super simple. You know, I'll do a blush, sometimes a powder, sometimes a cream, sometimes both, depending on how my face is looking and how much sleep I got the night before. A little bit of bronzer. Some highlighter, I'm obsessed with this highlighter from Beauty Blender. It's not really shimmery, it's more of a glass skin finish. So I'll just put it right here on my cheeks to give me um, a little bit of dewiness that's not like glittery or shimmery or anything like that. Then mascara, um, this natural mascara from Ilia is amazing. It's the best natural mascara that I've ever used. Lengthens my lashes, makes them look sky high, um, but also doesn't irritate my eyes, which is important when you wear contacts, which I do. 
And then my brows, I have a cowlick in my eyebrows, which is weird that I recently just discovered that's what it's called, but my hair grows in weird directions. Um, so this Beauty Counter Brow Gel is kind of what keeps everything looking seamless and like one eyebrow instead of two weird wonky looking ones. And then a spritz of perfume and a little lip gloss and I'm ready to go. So I think there's a common misconception that self-care has to cost a lot of money, a lot of time, be this massive investment. And I think there are some aspects of self-care that that is the case. For me, investing in therapy is really important. Investing in my workouts is really important to me. But one of the most important parts of my routine is actually completely free. Um, I really like to spend my time walking down the street blasting Lizzo music into my headphones and just clearing my mind, listening to what she has to say about feeling empowered, feeling good about yourself. I feel like that, having that blasting into my ears really helps me reframe my mindset and puts me in a good place, whether I'm having a bad morning, bad day, bad moment, whatever it is, hearing that I'm 100% that bitch is just important. And that to me is the number one, I think most critical part of self-care is having that time for myself. You can read my articles about this and so much more like beauty, fitness, my dating life on wellandgood.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.